hands-on team at the Academy offers various resources to help kickstart your trading. This video is a tutorial that shows you how to create a trade document so you could send it to the liaison team and they can ensure that your trading concept is accurate. Whenever you're ready to send a trade document to the liaison team, first you want to start off using any word processor. For this video, I'm just going to use Google Docs. You can really use any word processor that you like. There's Microsoft Office, there's Open Office. It's really up to you and whatever is your preference. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a new folder inside my Google Drive to hold all of my trade documents. So at the top left hand corner, you'll see a little plus sign and right next to it, the word new. I'm going to click that button and I'm going to select new folder. It's going to ask you to name your folder just for practical purposes. I'm going to name it my 2019 trades. Now, as I'm looking at the home page of my drive, you can see it right here. It's at the bottom where it says folders and I'm going to go ahead and open that folder up. Now from here inside of this folder, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. So again, I'm going to go at the top left hand corner, click the little plus sign that says new, and I'm going to select Google Docs. As you can see, this word processor popped up in a whole new tab. And if you look at the top toolbar and even the actual page, it's almost identical to any other word processor out there. Before we add any of our screenshots or trade entries, you want to turn your page orientation to landscape. And that's just because whenever you copy and paste your data entry from your trade, it'll paste easier. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to go all the way down to where it says page setup. Right now portrait is selected. So I'm going to go ahead and change it to landscape and click OK. So I'm going to go ahead and add my first screenshot. So at the top of the toolbar, I'm going to click insert and go to image and I'm going to select upload from computer. If you watch my Epic pen tutorial on how to take a screenshot and use Epic pen, these are the screenshots that I took in that tutorial. So if you recall, all of my trade screenshots are in a folder on my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder and I'm going to insert the image that we took that entered us into the trade. Click open. So there's our image. Next, you want to go to your track record and copy and paste all of that trade information for this trade. Here I'm back on my drive. So I'm just going to go to shared with me and open up my track record. Once your TTR is open, you want to go to the sheet that has the actual trade entry. What we're going to do, we're going to copy and paste almost this entire line to the document. So I'm going to select the date of the trade by left clicking on the cell one time. And then you want to move your mouse all the way to the trade percentage. Now I'm going to click shift and then simultaneously left click the trade percentage. That allows you to select from the date of the trade all the way up until the trade percentage. So now I'm going to right click and click copy. We're going to go back to the document and with your mouse, you want to right click and select paste. If you're using Google Drive like me, this little pop up window will come up asking you if you want to link the spreadsheet to the document and I'm just going to choose paste unlinked. So as you can see, it pasted everything that we selected. And the reason why we didn't select the entire line is because it won't fit entirely on this document. We're going to go back to our track record and select the rest of the line. Now starting at the contracts column, which is the cell right next to the trade percentage, we're going to left click on that cell where it says one for the number of contracts. And then again, I'm going to click shift and simultaneously left click on the notes. So I selected from contracts all the way up until notes and I'm going to right click and select copy. I'm going to go back to the document and again, I'm going to right click and choose paste. And again, on Google Drive, I'm just going to click paste unlinked. 
And as you can see, it pasted correctly. Next, we're going to add the screenshot that was the fill for our trade. Again, I'm going to go to the top toolbar and click Image and select Upload from Computer. So that was the first image that I uploaded and I'm going to choose the second one and click Open. So if you scroll up and down, you can see that we have our first image, our trade entry, and then our last screenshot. Now the next step is a very crucial step in this process, and that's renaming the document correctly. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna rename it first with today's date, and then your first name and last initial. So I'm gonna type in 2019.08 for the month, dot two one for the day. So year, month, date, and then underscore your first name and last initial. So it says 2019.08.21 underscore Jane D and I'm going to press enter. And Google automatically saves every two to three seconds. So if you are using another word processor, make sure you go to file, save as, and you could rename it that way. Now considering that it automatically saves, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of this tab and I'm going to go back to my drive and open up that folder just to ensure that it's there. Select the folder that we just created, My 2019 Trades, and this is inside of that folder. I'm going to go ahead and click on the trade document. If you are using Google Drive, you do need to download this document in order to save it to your computer to email it to the liaison team. So inside of this trade document, you just want to go to File and go all the way down to Download and select the format type that you want to download this document as. I'm going to select Microsoft Word. When this window pops up, you could go ahead and save it to any location that you like since it is on your computer. I'm just going to go to desktop. As you can see, the file name is already the name that we renamed it, so I'm just going to click Save. Moving forward, you can send this trade document to the liaison team just to make sure that you're accurately identifying trades. If you'd like to sit in behind the scenes with the trading group, call 888-646-8787 or go to deltatradinggroup.com.